How's it going, you guys? So I'm just here drinking my amazing coffee. And I wanted to discuss some of these supplements that I found to be the most powerful for people who have uh, anxiety. So, you know, I had panic disorder and uh, a bunch of anxiety problems uh, from 2012 up until about 2014 more so 2011 to 2014, something like that. Um, and I looked for all sorts of supplements and things to help me out with anxiety. And uh, nothing's really been more powerful than just removing the resistance from whatever it is you're anxious about. That's actually what completely removed all anxiety from my life completely. But um, there are definitely some supplements that can help especially for those people who feel like it's just too hard. Um, so first and foremost, make sure you're exercising. Make sure that um, you are doing some type of cardiovascular exercise, um, sprinting, jogging, interval runs. Okay, those are very powerful. Uh, any type of interval training or uh, highly vigorous cardiovascular exercise or even just Walking out in the sun for 30 minutes a day is very powerful. And sunlight has a double whammy. It's not only going to increase your vitamin D, but also just the actual direct contact of the sun with the skin actually increases endorphins. And that's how um, it's much more powerful to do your cardio outside in the sun than it is to be indoors. Also being out in, a, in nature, in a green environment, out in... Uh, on the trails at a park or something. Uh, green environments actually happen to have a significant antidepressant effect at the same time. Um, beyond that, uh, if you have access to a gym, or if you're thinking about starting, doing uh, interval training with weights is very powerful. So like doing circuits. So like for example, doing a set of 10 with deadlifts, then a set of 10 with overhead press, and a set of 10 with rows and then maybe supersetting that with 30 seconds on an elliptical or something. Some type of um, circuit training where you're basically doing cardio with weights. Very, very powerful. And keep in mind, I've actually been a personal trainer for over six years, so I definitely know what I'm talking about in that respect. And I've been going to the gym for my own mental health since 2009, um, and, and I've become a serious athlete since then. But Anyway, so those are very powerful. Nutrition is extremely powerful. In particular, a paleo diet is very, very powerful. Um, for those of you who enjoy carbohydrates, it might be a wise idea to uh, stick to paleo-approved fruits. And I have many different videos on why you wanna do that. But uh, the main thing is removing all the toxic garbage that most people eat that causes hormonal dysregulation and blood sugar issues up and down throughout the day. Um, a paleo diet is very powerful for that. Also, a low carbohydrate, high protein, high fat diet is very powerful. Uh, one that restricts carbohydrates below 20 grams per day um, and can put your body into a state of ketosis. Uh, a ketogenic metabolism actually upregulates GABA and what that will do is cause an overall anti-anxiety effect over time, but you have to pass the adaptation phase, which lasts two, about two weeks, for you to actually feel the cognitive benefits. And to boost that even further, taking coconut oil or MCT oil, which I'm actually drinking in my coffee right now, is very, very powerful. So, you know, those are the most fundamental things that will uh, completely resolve all anxiety, and it's what I found to be the most powerful. Combining that with letting go of resistance and applying the techniques I talked about and how I overcame my own panic attacks. Uh, once you got that taken care of, because those are usually the causes of most people's anxiety, but they don't realize it, is they have an exercise deficiency and then their, uh, their health is all messed up from the type of foods they're eating. Uh, you can solidify these effects and take them even further by uh, trying out herbs like rhodiola, ashwagandha, holy basil, and um, there's quite a few others. Um, for me, what I like is Makuna Pruins. I take uh, Makuna Dopa. 
It's a it's a extract by Now Foods of Makuna Purins, also known as Velvet Bean, um, that has a standardized 120 milligrams of L-dopa per serving, and this actually increases dopamine. Okay, and it helps you become more motivated, more focused, and more energetic, and more at ease. Uh, I also like to take ginkgo biloba because ginkgo biloba is most notably used to increase circulation throughout the body and the brain. But uh, and, and some people and a lot of there's a lot of literature that suggests that it has nootropic effects. But what a lot of people don't know is that um, ginkgo biloba also helps to uh, resensitize dopamine receptors over time. And so it helps to optimize your dopamine system, to put it simply. And a lot of people with anxiety and especially things like depression, what what's actually going on there is they have their they've been overstimulated a lot of times by um, instant gratification, autopilot behaviors like scrolling through the Facebook news feed and social media and uh, indulging in um, you know highly stimulating activities that overstimulate dopamine to the point where your dopamine receptors are desensitized. And this sounds like quackery to people who don't fully understand the dopamine systems and how new technology actually affects it. But it's been demonstrated in rat studies and human trials over and over again. Um, and so I find that limiting technology, especially social media and surfing the web and stuff like that, doing something called no surf, look it up, it's very powerful for your mental health and taking herbs that help to optimize dopamine as well as eating a diet that optimizes dopamine like a low carb uh, approach and doing exercise to you know fulfill that that need to relieve stress people don't realize you know fight or flight when you have the stress response the body needs to let it out through the running through flight okay or fighting or flighting, okay? Most people don't fight or flight. They don't run or fight. I do both, I run and I do MMA. So they don't get the stress out of their system. Instead, they just try to suppress the anger or whatever, maybe hit some pillows, you know, talk to a therapist, which is very powerful. But um, no one actually exercises and that's very important for getting the stress out. Anyway, um, and so, you know, for me, this has been the most like, energizing anti-anxiety approach is uh, optimizing dopamine through all these means but um, some people they do best with sedatives so um, the second best option besides Makuna is ashwagandha and by the way everyone's going to need a different uh, supplement regime but as far as nutrition and exercise I think that this is pretty standard um, and effective for most people regardless of any kind of biologi biological difference you think you might have. Um, but uh, ashwagandha is another very powerful option. And what ashwagandha does, so I prefer the whole root extract by Terra Soul, but I think they discontinued the product, but a whole uh, the whole dry root powder, um, instead of some of these fancier extracts like KSM 66 or Sensorol, there's multiple versions of ashwagandha and they all have very different effects depending on which one you take. Um, but uh, ashwagandha is very powerful for um, stabilizing mood over time. And for some people it kind of just completely like, it helps to put you in neutral. So instead of emotionally reacting to anxiety and, and stressful situations in your life, Ashwagandha allows you to feel more neutral, like it doesn't affect you anymore. Strong emotions don't affect you. Now, if you take the right type of ashwagandha, I find an increase in motivation and an increase in inspirational feelings and a decrease in stress. I find that I'm able to kind of like walk into a stressful situation without attachment to the outcome. Like it doesn't, things don't affect me as much. Like, I'm more in control of my emotions. It has a very grounding effect. Um, now, depending on what type of ashwanda you take, it can, be, it can enhance more serotonin receptors or it can enhance more GABA. And in some cases, it might be able to influence dopamine and lower prolactin. 
So if you take a good one, so like for example, KSM 66, which I recommend the whole herb powder first because it's going to give you the most like uh, simple and uh, effects. It's not going to like like drive you into like some kind of surge or something. But um, <clears throat> it lowers prolactin and is able to stabilize dopamine levels while also having a GABA boosting effect, okay? So grounding you, but allowing you to be more motivated at the same time, and that's very powerful, especially considering a lot of these uh, anti-anxiety herbs and things typically will sedate people to the point where they lose motivation at the same time, and you don't want that. So some extracts of ashwagandha, I think sensorol is one of them, is very sedating and stuff. And so you could take it before bed if it's too sedating and it'll still have a long lasting effect. It'll give you more nourishing sleep. And when you wake up in the morning, the effect is long lasting of stabilizing your mood. Um, and it's very popular, ashwagandha is very powerful and many people claim it's a lifesaver. But the key is trying different extracts, different brands, and that's why I go with the root powder because it's going to be the effects are more consistent because it's just the herbal root. There's no patented extracting process or anything like that, so it's more predictable in nature. Um, now, so the third option uh, is going to be so. Uh, so the third option that is very po popular, but I personally didn't do very well with, is rhodiola. Okay, so rhodiola rosea. Um, I've done a video breaking down some of the mechanistic data um, surrounding its constituents and their effects on um, dopamine and serotonin. Uh, go check that out if you're interested in the complicated biochemistry behind it. But essentially, rhodiola is going to work mostly on your serotonin and it's going to help to kind of give you a feeling of serenity and increase your feelings of wholeness and liveliness. Um, it has a very powerful anti-anxiety effect uh, and I believe mostly through increasing endorphins, I believe in particular beta endorphins, while at the same time increasing serotonin. And so many people went, and also again, it depends on the extract you get, but rhodiola can en enhance your, um, ser your serotonin and your dopamine in a way that for some people with some extracts, they feel an anti-fatigue effect. For other people, it might be more sedating and depending on the dose that you take, um, smaller doses tend to be more energizing, higher doses tend to push you to sleep. Uh, rhodiola can be a very powerful tool to decrease fatigue and increase your resistance to anxiety and stress. Um, it's definitely worth a try, but you want to look into what the most um, effective extracts are and try the ones that most people get the most success with. Same thing with ashwagandha. Um, KSM 66 is one of the most used ones. Don't try the sensorol unless you're trying to get put to sleep. A uh, whole herb extract is always going to be your best bet or a a uh, concentrate. Um, so then the fourth option, and it's one that I've used to help me sleep, is holy basil. Now holy basil is one that I took in when I was really transforming myself, um, and when I originally was getting over panic attacks as well. I wasn't taking it when I was dealing, when I, when I got over panic attacks, but shortly after I started getting holy basil. Holy basil helps to increase your GABA and to a certain degree serotonin, uh, but it's mostly GABA and its effects. And uh, it really helps to stabilize you while also opening up your, um, you know, your, what I've called before, your box, okay? Uh, your level of consciousness, if you want to call it that. But it helps to broaden your perspective to where if, you know, your mindset is limiting you in certain aspects of your life, um, it broadens that limitation, that, that, that ceiling of limitations to where you're able to accept more and more possibilities, opportunities, and ideas that you normally wouldn't be ready for. Um, helps to numb, uh, numb stress significantly. Um, very powerful anti-stress effects. Very powerful sedative effects for helping you go to sleep. Um, and also 
there's been some studies that show an increase in testosterone or a hormonal regulating effect uh, for all genders, all, all sexes. But at the same time, um, it also tends to uh, be used as an anti-fertility agent, which is very weird considering most most herbs that boost testosterone or regulate hormones tend to have a fertility boosting effect, but this has been used as natural birth control for some. Um, but I find holy basil is best suited for people who can't sleep. Uh, taking a good amount of holy basil before bed will help you go to sleep and definitely will help you take the edge off. So fifth one, which is probably the most powerful one, the most uh, effective for most people, is theanine. So L-theanine, theanine is amino acid found in green tea, uh, helps to increase and boost your GABA levels and turn over uh, glutamate into GABA, uh, especially if you take it with taurine. Um, and it could be used to take the jitteriness out of caffeine. <laughs> it could be used to increase your motivation and your focus uh, while also relaxing you. It could be used to help you put to sleep and just to decrease overall anxiety in general and this is obviously because it acts similarly as a precursor to GABA um, and GABA is your body's overall uh, stabilizing neurotransmitter so combining GABA boosting herbs with a ketogenic diet for example is very powerful for boosting GABA and helping you feel more serene over time and theanine typically works within the first hour of taking it so and again if you're not taking a quality supplement you could easily be getting some pretty dull powder. So make sure you get a quality supplement to make sure the effects are working for you. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to leave you all with that. Let me know down in the comments uh, which one of these you've tried, if it's worked or not. And I will talk to you all next time.